Touch and gloves optional here in San Diego to start us off on before the bell. As we get ready to roll four rounds of the Bantamweight class, Anthony Herrera. Ready. Ready. Out of East LA, making his second pro fight. As the Superman colored trunks. Jose Toribio in the blue and gold trunks. Alongside Chris Algieri, I'm Justin Shackle. We thank you for joining us as we get going here. Chocolatito Martinez later tonight from Southern California. I had the pleasure to call the pro debut of Herrera. Very explosive, very talented young man. And I love the pageantry of coming out with the Superman cape on. He said he, he really likes how there's more freedom in the program that you can kind of show more personality. And he came out throwing haymakers in that first round in his first pro fight at Madison Square Garden back in November. Recorded a second round knockout over Jonathan Tejada. And he favored the left hook early in that one. And you see a nice combo yeah. backed up by the left hand. He's actually rocked Torbio with two jabs. Torbio just came back with a good left hook of, of his own. That's one thing I like about the, the guys with the big, deep amateur backgrounds. You can see the pedigree. You can see the technique. Even in the second pro fight, good sharp punches, good jab, good judge of distance. He said he, he thought he worked a little too fast in that first round, but it also wasn't as bad as he thought once he went back and watched the tape. He looked crisp. I remember that fight. I, I can agree with him. I think he started a little fast. Once he settled down and started using his jab, I mean, it, it was all Herrera. And so far, Herrera doing some solid work with that left hand. A left hook to the body moments ago. Good right hand to the body there from Herrera. Smart of him to invest in the body early, even though it's only a four-rounder. Good left hook from Herrera. Some family and friends coming down from East L.A. Toribio entering tonight at 7-4 with a knockout. Native of San Diego, 29 years of age. Earned his bachelor's degree in nutrition at San Diego State. Wants to earn his master's at some point. And he said after he stops competing, he'd really like to help fighters with their food and diet the correct way. All right, I'd like to hear that. That's a noble profession. Helping these young guys out there who can improve their game, improve their performance. Herrera double up the jab as the seconds wind down here in round one. Close range right hand from Herrera. I like how he's being very aggressive to the body early on. The left hand to the body followed by the right hook upstairs. And round one in the books. Good sharp work from, from Herrera. Now Herrera said there, there's kind of an urgency to win every round in a four-round contest, especially when you're starting out. And he kind of called it tricky. Uh, I have to agree with him on that. I hated four rounds. It's a weird dynamic, right? It really is because, you know, first of all, it's 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 even rounds. So if you, you lose two rounds, you, you're looking at a draw. If you get knocked down, you're literally fighting out of the hole there. So it is it is a difficult task early on in your career. you got to be really careful. you got to be aggressive. And you have to look to win every round, exactly like Herrera said. You also need to, at the same time, kind of balance out the pacing. Yeah, I mean, I think Herrera had that had a little trouble with that in his first fight. Uh, this fight, he seemed a little more settled down. I really like the body work. That's been an adjustment I have seen from his first fight. Herrera said he likes how his power and his speed are developing four months as a pro, making his second pro appearance here tonight. I mean, you can see he's a very powerfully built young man. Looks strong for the weight. Herrera continuing to work the body downstairs with the left hand. Try and wear down Toribio here to start us off on before the bell. I'm told that Toribio is actually in really good shape right now, maybe the best of his his young career, but he was supposed to fight in Mexico last week. That fight fell through. This opportunity presented itself. He said, hey, I'm in shape. I'll take it. 
Left uppercut lands from Herrera moments ago. This is Toribio's third U.S. fight. He's 0-2 in the U.S. He's had nine fights in Mexico. Another left uppercut coming in clean from Herrera. Herrera has a very educated and dynamic left hand. He throws it to the head, to the body. He jabs, he hooks off it, doubles it up. I like seeing that in a young prospect. Toribio staying in front of Anthony Herrera. Got a little blood over the left eye of Toribio. Dripping down the cheek of Toribio. As he moves to his left. Anthony Herrera, member of Team USA Boxing. He made the qualifying team. Took second in the 2020 Olympic team trials. Had Olympic aspirations, really wanted to become the third gold medalist out of East LA in the Olympic Games, but he was snubbed just a bit with the Tokyo Olympics, how everything played out with COVID. It canceled enough international qualifying tournaments. He didn't have enough points to qualify for the Olympic team. You see the blood appearing heavily on the left eye of Toribio. You know, Justin, that's, a, that's an unfortunate reality for a lot of these young amateurs who had Olympic hopes. Talking about the global pandemic, COVID-19, of course. 30 seconds to go here in round number two. Good exchanges from Herrera and Toribio. Yeah, Toribio's in there. You know, he, he's, he's punching with Herrera. He's landing some shots of his own. He just doesn't have the firepower that Herrera has. He's staying aggressive. That left hand working upstairs and downstairs from Anthony Herrera here. Here we see Herrera with that busy left hand, big left hook upstairs. Throws that right hand. That's kind of a range finder. Rips that left hook right of the chin of Trivio. Makes him take a backward step. Here we just see more of Herrera being aggressive, being very busy with the left hand. And like I, like I mentioned in that opening stanza, really focusing on the body as well. Good adjustment than, uh, from what I saw in that first fight, Herrera's debut. Anthony Herrera getting instruction from his trainer Edgar Hasso. Just 21 years of age. Really enjoyed the New York City experience in his pro fight. So often you get to make your pro debut at Madison Square Garden. Especially on the undercard of a great matchup like Tiafimo Lopez and Cambosis, which ended up being quite the upset. And Toribio is going to get that left eye checked here at the beginning of round three. And just scheduled for four rounds, starting us off. A fight in the bantamweight division between Anthony Herrera and Jose Toribio. And the fight will continue. A little bit of a long look there by the doctors, but got the okay. There's some blood appearing on the right side of the nose of Jose Toribio as well. And Anthony Herrera here in round three letting the hands go a little bit. I like that upward angle jab that Herrera is throwing. He kind of switched it up. It's a hybrid, there it is again. It's a hybrid jab, lead uppercut. As you mentioned, that blood coming from the nose, that's, that's the kind of shot that can definitely crack that nose. With the pace being picked up by Herrera, but Toribio standing right in front of him trying to battle back. And you know, he's, he's punching with the young Herrera, and I mean, that's, that's the way to go. If you got a guy as strong and as physical as Herrera is, you want to punch with him, try and catch him with something big. Good body shot there from Toribio. Ooh, beautiful double right hand, uppercut overhand right from Herrera. On the left hand to the body, and then that left hook causing Toribio to take a step back. Another left uppercut. The angles now on display from Anthony Herrera. Excellent stuff from Herrera. Really showing his class. The combo's flowing. The punch is landing here from the 21-year-old out of East L.A. 
And I will say, even though he's, you know, the, the pace is torrid, he seems measured. A lot more comfortable in this fight than his pro debut. He's picking his spots really well. Still being aggressive. I think that's just his style. Herrera able to slow down the pace, perhaps think a little bit more as he's punching, before he's punching. And Rebio is tough. He's taking some hellacious body shots. Three-punch combo to the head by Herrera. But that body shot moments ago, like you mentioned, Chris, the left hand continues to find a home. Definitely looks like that's something that Herrera and the team have been working on in the camp. Dig into the body whenever they get the chance. Good left hand from Toribio. Trying to return the favor Ooh, downstairs. Yeah. Nice overhand right from Toribio. Got to give it to him, man. He is, a, he is a tough cookie. He's in there. He's throwing punches. Unwavering so far. Yep. Oh, nice jab. You know, Herrera is one of those guys that I really think that more rounds will benefit. I think he'll be able to settle down even more than this, really use that jab, set things up. The blood continues to drip down on the left eye. And Herrera going back with the right uppercut. Hey, this could be what's in store, what we're going to be expecting later on tonight with Chocolatito and Martinez. I was actually thinking, this kind of looks like a Chocolatito type, Chocolatito esque fight with the number of punches being thrown by both men. More beautiful work from Herrera here. Really letting those hands go whenever he gets inside. Digging with both hands, finishing with those strong lefts. Double, tripling up punches there. We see him doubling the right hand with the uppercut and then the overhand. Both shots landing pretty clean. Anthony Herrera taking a big breath as he gets ready to go for the final round here scheduled for four. And the Bantam waits to open up the action tonight here in San Diego. Anthony Herrera in the Superman colored trunks. The blue and gold trunks belong to Jose Toribio. And a sharp left hand from Herrera out of the gate here to start the final round. The punches from Herrera have landed. And Toribio is showed at this oh. point as he goes down from that left hand and that's going to be it one too many body shots from superman finally landed the shot that did the damage put toribio down who was taking the punch as well in the first three rounds didn't look to waver under the onslaught of herrera but that last left hook to the liver was just too much that was the straw that broke the back and herrera is 2-0 with two knockouts to start his pro career. I like how Herrera's getting rounds, too. You know, got the stoppage, but got into the last round, the fourth round. That's good for a young fighter. You don't want just blowouts where you're knocking guys out in the first round all the time. No, I was about to say, as he was coming out for the final round, for as much as he was finding a home with both hands, he may have wondered, being a young pro, man, what else do I have to do here to close the show? Well, he took care of business. Yeah, absolutely. He came out very strong that round, put the pressure on, didn't let up at all, put that foot on the gas pedal, and got his man out of there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That left hook to the body was a great shot all night long, and that's what finally ended it. So Herrera proves to 2-0 and with two knockouts. Toribio falls to 7-5. And he is stopped early for the fourth time as a pro. Herrera gets the cape back on. Removed the Clark Kent shirt and tie and went super style here in Southern California. A two fights in, impressive work, like we see. What would be the next step for a 21-year-old like Herrera? More rounds, more rounds. I want to see him in a six-rounder. I want to see him use those skills. I think that 
Um, you know, as what he alluded to earlier is these four, four round fights are making him kind of fight the way that he has to win every single round, every every single second. I think as he has more rounds, we can see more of his skill set. He has a beautiful jab. I think that would be a great weapon for him to set up his power shots and maybe to get these guys out a little earlier. Or a little easier. Let's go into the ring, make it official with David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ray Corona calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 24 seconds of round number four. Your winner by knockout, he's still undefeated, Anthony Superman Herrera.